Hi Scorpio, welcome, welcome back. This is a reading for Scorpio Sun, Moon and Rising. You might find though that this resonates more if Scorpio is your Moon or your Rising sign. Okay, okay, five of wands. So you may feel there are too many people in the way and you're trying to do your best to not pay too much attention to them, to stay in, in charge of this, to keep manifesting what you're wanting to see. King of Pentacles in reverse, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So you might be saying what you'd like is more of a show of commitment from your person and stability, whether it's commitment in the sense of let's be in a committed relationship together or commitment in the sense of saying, well, yes, I'm committed to to you, to me, to us, to building this connection, to getting to know you or to getting to know you more or you know I'm committed to communicating initiating responding that sort of thing so you might be finding that you're you're struggling with that a little for some of you it could also be because your person maybe is isn't single at this time they might be in another commitment so that could be a romantic commitment it could be you feel they're too committed to a job family uh friends um a particular set of beliefs but I see you you know you're doing everything you can so good for you fair play you know you're here as the magician you're not just sitting down saying oh it's not going how I want you know you're, you're really doing what you can here I also feel that you're a very busy person you have lots of people around you um you're doing lots of things for some of you not all of you you might find or have found that some of the people in your life don't necessarily approve of the person you're trying to manifest here and draw towards you and you're like this barrier between your person and these other people and you're very strong but at the same time you might be finding it a bit exhausting and you might be wishing you know I wish it could just be more simple I wish I didn't have to stand here and you know be this this divide this go-between we have Gemini energy here Yeah, the High Priestess in reverse, so Pisces, we have the Three of Cups reverse. So I feel for many of you, you're trying to manifest either a reconciliation or you would love the chance to meet with your person or to just have a really nice conversation, you know, to be in their presence for both of you to maybe have fun together, to do something enjoyable, to reconnect in some way. Um, October is coming through, so I'm not sure if, if that may happen in October or if October is significant. We have the Knight of Wands in the reverse and the Four of Cups. What's on the back? Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, so that goes back to that Nine of Cups that we saw coming out at the start, feeling that you wish more would have been made or had been made of this opportunity here between you or the feelings here between you. I'm seeing you feel that in the past you have, you've made it clear how you feel, you have extended um, to your person, perhaps you told them about your feelings or you, you did something that you believe showed them how you feel, but they weren't available to either take the cup or they just weren't taking it, you know, maybe they didn't see its value at the time, um, maybe they didn't feel they were ready to, for whatever reason you feel that you were really offering, but they didn't take it. <sighs> I'm seeing that some of you might be feeling that these people around you, they don't really understand your connection with this person, um, whether it's something you're talking to them about or not. If you're not speaking to people about it, you might just assume if I was to start talking about this, they wouldn't get it. They would tell me, you know, I, what I should be doing and I shouldn't do this, I shouldn't do that, but they wouldn't actually understand what this connection is. Okay. Let's see what else we have the star aquarius so you could be hoping for healing here for a reconnection if there's no movement right now or not the kind of movement you're wanting i'm seeing you haven't given up hope yeah four of wands two of pentacles knight of pentacles in the reverse eight of swords in the reverse so you're definitely thinking in the right way you're not being limited by your thoughts um you might feel that your person isn't prioritizing you enough 
uh, that they're juggling. You might believe that your person feels a lot more than they're showing and saying, and that because of that, you're kind of, you know, because of the fact that that they're not prioritizing you or they are very busy and they're not really coming forward with their wants, desires, intentions, feelings. You're you're both repeating the same loop or maybe you have the same couple of loops that, you, you know, you keep going around. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse is a very frustrating energy because it's, um, it's, it's like a lack of progress. So that's how you might be seeing this. It's the same thing over and over and over and over. But we're not actually moving forward. Whereas what you're wanting is some kind of you know, something really solid, a really solid foundation, a commitment, a union here. Um, maybe for some of your highest hopes is even to be married to this person. Mm, okay, so let me just have a look with the magician. Ooh. Okay, well, I'll take them. So we have a page of wands, Six of Pentacles, Nine of Wands reverse, Queen of Swords reverse, the Emperor, the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So some of you might be um, wishing, hoping that your person will leave a karmic, for example, if if it's an unhappy situation, you're wanting them to free themselves from that. Um, you know, whether they've told you it's unhappy or you just feel that you've decided it's unhappy. You kind of want them to step up though. The Emperor, you know, Aries energy here, the Emperor is all four kings combined. There's a particular level of maturity and focus and dedication um, that you're looking for here. So I think you're not wanting your person to come in as a knight of wands. You are saying, that energy burned me in the past. I, I'm looking for my Emperor now wanting a new start, wanting to be able to put your guard down. I will say though, with the Queen of Swords reversed, whether you're a water sign, um, sorry, an air sign, Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius or not, there is a question here that's being asked of you. Are you really as ready maybe to move this forward from wherever you are as you would like to be? If you're, you know, 100% honest with yourself, is there still a part of you that's on guard or maybe doesn't quite trust your person or at a moment's notice you're ready to kind of lock your heart up again now there's no judgment there's no right or wrong answer but it, it's something for some of you that spirit's saying um something to be aware of here you know if you were hurt in the past there's a part of you that's afraid of that happening again and that can kind of cloud your manifestation. So you're doing lots of great manifestation work as the magician. But if there's a part of you that's holding you back saying, no, don't manifest this person in because last time they hurt you or, you know, whatever happened hurt you in, in the situation, it's almost like it's going to start slowing down your manifestation. So this could be something that you're hearing. You're saying, yeah, if I'm honest, I know I feel that way. Others of you may be saying, no, I've worked through it. Okay, great. Um, the trickiest place to be in though is where you you feel yes I'm ready to move forward but there's a part that you have to really dig up it's hidden very well that's actually um, a bit cautious here that you're not fully aware of so it might be a little bit in your sort of subconscious here so it's worth asking yourself sitting down and seeing if in some way you might be getting in your own way a bit but you know as I said, it's just a qu question to consider. It may not apply to you, but that's what I see. I see you wanting to manifest a reconnection. You're wanting to manifest healing, a sense of a partnership, but really, you really want your person to show up here in a very strong, high vibration. Okay, so let's have a look at things um, from their side. Okay. In fact, I don't think you'll be able to see it, so I'll put the cards over here. Okay, Spirit, can you show us what is, oh, how does this situation look from my viewer's person's perspective? What is their perspective? What are their thoughts and feelings at this time regarding this connection? Oh, Ten of Swords. Okay, so both of you understand or believe, perceive that there's some kind of um, an ending that has happened. 
it's so interesting because I feel you have moved through it more quickly. You maybe have been through the sadness, the pain, and now you're looking forward and you're saying, okay, let's let's heal, let's reconnect. Your person, however, seem, seems to still very much be in the energy of the painful ending here, which may actually surprise you. You could be, you could be dealing with a Taurus. We have Pisces, yeah, we have the moon. Six of Cups in reverse, Two of Cups, wow. We have the Fall in reverse on the back, Aries. When I pulled out the Two of Cups, I heard your person loves you. So yeah, um, did we have the Two of Cups here for you? Or was I just talking about it? I think I might've been talking about it. Okay, so yeah, the Two of Cups. How does your person perceive you as the one for them? Their counterpart, their other half. If they think about you know these connections in terms of twin flames, soulmates, then that's how they think of you. Um, the, this card is upright. They very much still feel this for you. However, they also believe, I would say they believe right now 90% that it's over, that there cannot be a revival. There will not be a revival. So you're not quite on the same page in the sense that you're very much, you're a bit cautious potentially because of how maybe things ended or how they went, but you're very much open to a new beginning here. Um, one that looks different to what you've experienced before, but your person feels that maybe you're not. And it's f the, the thought that they, there cannot be a new beginning is very, very painful for them. Yeah, really painful. Um, some of them might be saying, there's so much you still don't know. There's so much I, uh, you know, I, I didn't get to tell you. Um, so much I kept hidden. Oh my gosh, okay, let's keep going. Yeah, strength in reverse, Leo energy. If you're, um, if there was something to do with your person's ego here that maybe caused this Ten of Swords ending, I think they have realised it and um, it's something they're willing to release. Now, again, this is from their perspective. So whether you feel this way or not, they might be saying, well, I shouldn't have um, kept my passion, my, my feelings so quiet or maybe they're saying I shouldn't have been so stubborn or, or something like that you know knight of cups in reverse you see they're keeping these desires to communicate with you and in a romantic heart-based sense quiet they're keeping it keeping that desire hidden the ten of cups so you represent a great deal of happiness to them maybe they feel as I said you know you are the one you are the person who can you know make them the happiest they can see themselves having the perfect family situation with you whatever perfect looks like to them but they're saying, well, that chance has gone. Hmm. Knight of Swords in reverse. They're desperate to speak. Some of them may actually end up reaching out because they can't hold back any longer. Tell me more about this Knight of Swords, please. Queen of Cups in reverse. So they're wanting to ask you, how do you feel? Do you still care about me? Do you still love me? Because, you know, King of Cups, I love you. And I feel that, that we were made for each other. Okay, what else would they like to say please the empress in reverse guys come on you want them to, to show up as the emperor they see you as having always been the empress we have the two of cups you want the same thing but that you are on slightly different pages they don't know that you are open of course this may not resonate with everyone but the story i'm seeing is they don't know that you're open to having another go a new beginning you might be saying, well, I've been here waiting because I'm looking for changed behaviour or, you know, if they reach out to me first this time, it's going to represent to me that, you know, this, that and the other. You may have assigned um, meanings here on them contacting you first. It will show they've been thinking about me. It will show they really do care. It will show that I am a priority. And similarly, you may be saying, well, if I reach out, it's going to, I'm going to devalue myself. They're going, we're going to end up repeating the same cycle. Um, they won't respect me, you know. Um, so there are reasons I feel that you're not stepping forward, taking action, but they're not the reasons that this person thinks. They think it's because you're done, you know. Um, and they're seeing that you were the Queen of Cups with them. You were very generous, open-hearted, loving. You were the Empress with them. You offered a, a chance for them to grow with you. But now you've pulled that back. Yeah. 
yeah, this is... This, there's almost like a stalemate here and it could go on for a while if you're resonating with this reading. So I think what we should do, because both of you want to reconnect, so there's a lot, you know, a lot of potential here, is get you some advice. Just thinking, is there anything else? Ten of Wands, another ten, another ending. Thing is, once we get to the Ten of Swords, we get the Ace of Swords. Ten of Wands, Ace of Wands. So that's clear communication and taking clear, focused action, inspired action. Yeah, so much potential. Okay, let me grab another deck and I'm going to get you some guidance, some advice. Okay, let's use Tarot Cats. So this, I found out, the, the two new, um, decks I mentioned getting recently, being gifted while I was on a break, um, are from Paula, who we know on this channel. And she told me, <laughs> you only need to thank me once. So um, it's just, you know, I don't ever want to just seem like, oh, great, you, you gifted me a deck, whatever. You know, I, I'm grateful. So, but I will only say thank you, Paula, once. So yeah, okay. So Spirit, what are your messages of guidance and advice for my viewers? How can they get on the same page as their person, please, without feeling like they are overly being overly exposed, without self-sacrificing anything, without going against um, their boundaries or their judgments? So what's your advice and guidance here? Oh, Knight of Cups. Okay. Three of Swords. Three of Cups in reverse. The Moon. Okay. The Empress on the back with the Queen of Swords in the upright. So you see she's in the upright. So this is a healed Queen of Swords. We did get the Queen of Swords in reverse. I feel Spirit saying, now this is, honestly, this is the advice that's coming from the most detached, highest vibration place. So you may feel you're ready for this and want to do this, you may not. The Spirit is saying, the advice here is to lovingly speak your truth to your person. But the truth here is, yes, I still care, but yes, there has been pain. I you know, these are the things that disappointed me. These are the things that made me angry. These are the things I wish I hadn't done. And I also wish you hadn't done or, you know, whatever. So really saying what didn't work for you, saying how you would like to move forward. And with the moon, it's almost like facing your fears, saying the things that it makes you uncomfortable to say. Um, because there's so much here that is hidden and each of you are left to infer from what you're seeing and not seeing and what's being said and not said, that it's left you in slightly different places but ultimately wanting a reconnection. And I just feel if you both want this reconnection and you, you do seem to very much, you know, why delay really? Um, okay, so speaking your truth from an empowered place. Um, if you're thinking, okay, maybe I want to do this, if you feel like, no, fair, you know, do what's best for you, you know your situation best. But if you're saying, well, if I do this, how is it going to go? Is my person also going to reciprocate or am I just going to be cross that I bothered to reach out or to open up? So let's see. How might they respond to this? Oh, the Knight of Swords, so they will reply, that's for sure. Slightly different energy though, you know, the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Ten of Wands in reverse. Four of Pentacles. <laughs> Ace of Cups, what on earth? No, you cannot, you cannot be all aggressive and shouty and closed off and then think you're getting a new beginning ace of cups so it looks to me if you were to, to come forward in this way your person might be a bit defensive um they might repeat some past behaviors they might be a bit closed off but for them 
that's you know great we've reconciled let's move forward so i mm, i don't know i don't know if you should do this if, if you want to reach out because i'm not sure a person has a very healthy way of moving through conflict and i'm not seeing that they're going to be so ready to open up and be as vulnerable There's more of an energy here of, um, oh, we're speaking again. Okay, great. Let's just bury what's happened and carry on. Let's have a new beginning. But uh, it just means that the problems will resurface at some point. Hmm. It's very difficult because if you don't reach out, for some of you, yes, Knight of Swords in reverse, they're going to come in anyway as the Knight of Swords in the upright and eventually say, okay, look, hi his you know his me how are you whatever they're going to say something um for others of you i think this stalemate will continue for a while longer if you do reach out and open up i'm not seeing that you're going to get the level of maturity that you might be looking for you know you're wanting an emperor but you're getting a knight of swords now this isn't a reflection of how they feel about you or anything like that i think it's just the way they're used to resolving conflicts um Yeah, and, and that's, you know, four of coins. Let's just bury this down deep, straight to the ace of cups, and let's begin again. That's frustrating. You you may have, uh, this may be one of the cycles that you were showing me earlier that you have found to be quite difficult. Let's see, let's get some advice from this deck. So these are the messages from your animal spirit guides. I think actually, and we'll, we'll pull one from the, um, I think it's the unicorn deck. I know it's not called that. It's the Affirmators Oracle deck. Okay. So what's the best message from my viewers at this time, please, spirit? We have grouse. Express yourself through rhythm and movement by drumming and dancing. So a very grounded energy here. I do wonder, is, you know, maybe the advice then, as we know, it's a difficult energy here. Do you speak up or not? Maybe the advice for now is yes, release, express, speak up, but perhaps not to this person just yet. So yeah, there is something here about your own healing expression the transmutation maybe of any lingering painful energy um but maybe not to speak it directly to this person just yet because you might feel disappointed or frustrated by their response um of course again it's it's up to you but i am seeing either way spirits encouraging you to express something here okay So let's finish with one of these. I will do the one question, one card answers in a moment. I think I'll do an extended reading and I, I, I kind of want to see and have a look at how your person's going to evolve. You know, if you don't step forward right now, wow, that's quick. Are they going to grow in the meantime or change or want to communicate differently or, or stay the same? connection we had this last time i used this deck with the penguins i'm connected to the multitudes and i can access their support at any time even a stranger offers a sense of comfort when they smile at me or make a dumb comment about the weather everyone is waiting to connect all i need to do is open myself up and pay attention note to self work on witty banter about weather related stuff okay so maybe this is literally going to a dance class and being around other people or if you um play an instrument you know connecting with other musicians or listening to music you know that sort of thing but yeah maybe expressing to trusted people around you there's something here about getting support from people around you and as i saw before you know the magician very very powerful but still the number one it's still about i the self doing it you know doing everything alone um so you might be around people who are kind of contributing to your stress right now knowingly or unknowingly a spirit saying um being around people who actually relieve stress who support you um can be a great thing to do right now 
So, I hope this was helpful. Um, just know both of you really want to reconnect. Both of you want healing here. Both of you would love a new beginning, but your approaches are slightly different. And um, honestly, I don't think your person understands that you feel that if you reach out again, if, if you make effort again, there's some kind of confirmation that you won't be able to receive from them or that you know you're you're feeling that they might be looking at you in a certain way that isn't valuing you completely you know you know that kind of thing they haven't quite understood that i don't maybe you know maybe at some point in the future it will be a good thing to tell them this is how i perceive things you know um and ask is that is that how you see me is that what it means to you if i keep saying hello first or something like that you know um yes okay so if you're heading off thank you for watching take care oh i should have said earlier i won't be here on monday it's a bank holiday um yeah it's a bank holiday on monday here in the uk so um i will not be here monday but i will do a reading on wednesday and on wednesday we'll do a past present future in your connection plus i'll pull some oracle messages for you um from the messages deck to see what their messages are for you um yeah, if you're sticking around, I'm going to clear this away and we'll do the one question, one card answers. Okay, so thank you everyone as always for your questions. Our first winner today is Ultra Soul Viotrance 777 who says, um, why do I always see my twin flame or divine counterpart's name everywhere all day when I'm making major moves? Okay, so why do you see your person's name all day? everywhere and when you're making major moves spirit what can you say please what can you show us okay We have the Ace of Swords in reverse. So it seems to me like maybe Spirit's trying to get your attention here. Um, maybe there's something, you know, a perspective. We've been talking about perspectives today. Um, a way of seeing this that you might not be realising at the moment or some kind of information that's trying to come through or some clarity that Spirit's trying to give you here. Let me clarify. Oh, wow, the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Okay. And we have the Six of Cups in the reverse. So I do feel that the reading we just had is very much for you. And it might be, um, it could be your person is thinking about you a lot and it's their energy, you know, moving into coming into your energy and showing itself in the form of you seeing their name. Um, there is something here though about a new beginning or communication um a change in perspective so it could be you're being encouraged to think about something that's happened something from the past and processing this or seeing this in a different way is going to shed light on where you are now within this connection like you know an aha moment i get it um or it could be new information around your connection at this time we do have the ten of coins on the back I'm feeling really this is a message, pretty much like what we just saw, that this connection um, is by no means over, but a new beginning is struggling to manifest, is struggling to materialise. I think your person is, is thinking about you a lot and doesn't want you to have given up on them or to forget about them. Let's see. Yeah, seven of wands in the reverse. There's really a desire, I feel, for communication here and spirit seems to be backing this up so if you're wanting to if you feel ready if you feel inclined it could be worth reaching out to this person it doesn't have to be anything big to start with just saying hello seeing how it goes from there um but yeah i think you're constantly reminded of, of this person especially when you're you know doing sort of big important things because a they don't want to be left behind they want to be involved in these big important changes in your life they don't want to be forgotten and b um because a new a new beginning is trying to be you know birthed here but it can't, it can't quite sort of come through so um it's letting you know hello i'm here can you help me to come into being so yeah okay i hope that helped 
Okay, our second winner is Lioness Pride 31. He says, how long will the third party be an issue? Let's see. We have the Hermit in the reverse, so Virgo energy in case that's relevant to you. The Tower in the reverse, Scorpio energy. The Three of Swords, oof. Huh, okay, let's have a look what's on the back. The Emperor in the reverse. I almost feel everyone within your situation um, kind of knows the third party whoever you know this other person is knows that, that that situation between them and your person isn't great and really it's almost like it's just waiting to end um but the thing is when we can see a tower moment up ahead we don't really often walk willingly into it because it's too traumatic you know it's like voluntarily jumping in front of a train it's, it's a bit different if we're pushed and sometimes we need to be pushed into a tower moment so when the tower shows up it lets me know pretty soon there's going to be some kind of a change and ending here um but everybody knows it's not a great situation with the three of swords i actually feel your person wants to make a change here yeah we have the hierophant in reverse as well wants to free themselves of this other person of the situation but they're kind of not stepping up at this time and committing to making that change similarly to saying you know i don't want to jump in front of a train i i kind of don't want to bring this um you know i don't i don't want to create all of this drama and stress around me but at the same time i would like to be free of this relationship this situation so i, I feel your person um knows what they want to do but they're not 100 percent stepping up and leaving this third party the third party and you also feel that this situation is not really working out but with the tower i don't see it being very long to be honest okay what's underneath the hierophant let me see knight of coins yeah you might feel that your person is sort of almost coasting saying well you know no i, I can't um i can't leave this person today i have to wash my car now i have to go and pick up groceries and now i have to um get a haircut you know it's like come on be the emperor take charge but i can understand why it's a bit um it's a it's a big move you know it will bring in a tower moment so it's a bit scary, but I don't think it will be too long. The tower in terms of timing talks about right now, but remember it's reverse, so there's a bit of a delay. Okay, so let's move on to the third person here. Okay, and our third winner is, um, how do I pronounce this? Moni Amimi? Mona I am Amy? <laughs> uh moni and mimi let's go with that okay so you've said why isn't my person showing their true feelings towards me pretending they're being just friends um instead and keeping a safe distance okay so let's see why isn't your person showing their true feelings oops these cards are so big I watched another reader um, who uses this deck regularly and, you know, she shuffles them effortlessly. So she maybe has bigger hands than I do. I don't know. But yeah, kind of big. Okay. So why isn't your person showing their true feelings? Let's see. Oh, King of Cups, because they're a King of Cups. And we all know the King of Cups feels very deeply. So you're not mistaken in feeling there are deeper feelings here, but they're very stoic. Um, okay, let's keep going. Ah, uh, King of Coins in reverse. Your person might be a bit practical. They could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or even if not, they're saying, well, why would I tell you how deeply in love with you I am when I can't show up? I can't be stable. I can't offer enough. We have the chariot. So they could be saying, I can't give you enough because I'm so focused on my own goals right now. 
and we have the five of swords so yeah this could be someone who argues a lot with themselves in their head they could overthink they could doubt themselves this can also be someone saying no no i'm i'm really focused on achieving a goal right now so it's not the time for me to be opening up and trying to um settle down and commit because i can't give enough of myself to you to us at this time so yeah if you know your person's really going after something you know really hard they're saying this is my goal this is my my current um focus i will manifest this i will make it happen um i feel that's that's why they're they're not opening up because there's a really practical edge to this you know well if i tell you i love you then then naturally you will expect me to follow through but i can't so i'm not going to tell you you know it's that sort of a thing here so i don't think there's any um they're not trying to wind you up or annoy you or stress you out i think it's just they're being very very logical and I almost feel once whatever this is they're going after, once they, once they've achieved this, and I do see that they will with the chariot, um, they may be more willing to to open up more or show you more of how they're feeling. This is someone who seems to have very high expectations of themselves, um, and someone who doesn't do things, you know, like half measures. They're not going to to come in and say, "Oh, I have feelings," and then disappear. You know, once they're ready to say, "I have feelings," very deep feelings can we move this forward it's because they're intending to see how far this can go with you okay so yeah i'm gonna leave this this here i hope this reading was helpful thank you everybody for watching um like i said i won't be here monday but we'll make up upload on wednesday and um if you want to be entered for the one question one card next friday please go ahead and leave your question in the comments and i'll enter you into the draw but otherwise i hope you have a really nice weekend and um take care and see you soon bye